Hello, in this presentation, I want to show you how to reset all filters and select a specific cell in last used row of the table with just one click. I will start using a test table with large data amount both on rows and columns and filtering it by any criteria as shown. In normal way, to reset all filters we have to select each one independently, or to unprotect the sheet and push clear filter button, or select the filtered range and push filter button twice. Next you need to select the cell in column B in the last range. As you can see, it takes a lot of time to do in this way. Next, if I apply some random filters, I will show how quick the reset filters button works. As you can see, in less than a second, all the previous operations are done. If I select another cell, and no filter is active, still the last used cell in column B is selected, at a new click on the reset filters button. If I unprotect with password the active sheet, and push again the reset filters button, you can see that the current sheet is protected after resetting. Next, I will show you the code behind this button. In this case in first line, the active sheet is unprotected with password. Below with green, unprotect without password. Line 3 works as clear button, even if no filter is on. Next, with green are possible variation, working with specific sheet and filtered range, useful in some cases. Next, is define the last used row, and selected the cell in column B in this row. At the end, the sheet is automatically password protected and the routine is finished. You can change to another cell in last used row, as you need. Many times happens the file to be saved with filters on, and you have to reset them on reopening the workbook. To prevent this, at workbook closing I can call the reset filter subroutine, 
and after to save it. With any filter on, I will close the file, and as you can see, before closing message asking to save or not the file, the subroutine is working, resetting the filters and selecting the specified cell. I hope you found useful this presentation and you will use this macro, adapted to your needs.